Hello viewers, welcome to RT Global News. You can help us to reach wider audience by liking our video. Russia is supporting Iran in Syria against Israeli strikes on pro-Iranian militia and their bases. Recently we have seen that Russia has deployed its latest defense system in Syria to counter Israeli missile strikes and now another development which have shocked the Israeli establishment. On August 1st, a radar with a detection range of up to 150 kilometers was deployed in the area of western Euphrates, where there is a strong concentration of pro-Iranian factions and groups, supported by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps of Iran. The information was also confirmed by observers from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, which is based in London. According to sources, the radar station is in the area of Hashad. We know from military sources, that this area is known for its strong concentration of Iranian forces. They are most concentrated in the city of al Maidan, located in the province of Deir Ezizor, which has been attacked in recent months, by both the US and Israeli air forces. Russian sources claim that the Iranians have deployed, the Russian radar station Kasta 2E2. This is a relatively new radar, as it was officially presented at the military exhibition MAX 2015 in Moscow. The radar consists of three vehicles. One is the radar station itself, which can deploy a pylon up to 50 meters high, the second is a control station, and the third carries ancillary equipment. The radar can track up to 50 targets simultaneously, and unfolds relatively quickly, up to 20 minutes. The area around the city of al Maidan, where the radar was located, is strategically and topographically important, as it is surrounded by both Iranian pro-fighters, and opposition forces against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, as well as Russian troops. Nearly one year ago, there was information that Iran could use the radar services of the Russians, receiving data from their S-400 air defense systems in the area, for the movement of American and Israeli stealth. However, this information was not confirmed, as for years of presence, the Russians have been using the S-400, only to protect their airbase in Syria. This development clearly indicates that, Russia don't want Israeli interference in Syria, and any small incident could spark a massive war, between Russia and Israel. To get latest updates on Russia and Israel conflict, please subscribe to RT Global News and turn on the notifications, so that you get all the global events update, as it happens.